So hi, everybody. Welcome to TCM Time. That's traditional Chinese medicine with me, Kathy Young. Welcome to my free Kung Fu class where we're gonna train the white crane Kung Fu. This is a Southern style where battles were fought on boats. So they specialized in short range fighting. That means a lot of blocks and a lot of punches, learning how to move from your body. Like a white crane, where your hands become the wings of the crane. Today, we're going to strengthen our body with something called hard qigong. Everybody make a wing with your hands and tense. Everybody start by giving me a high five, raising the roof and touch under your armpit. This is where your heart energy starts. So when you're happy, you raise the roof, you cheer for each other. Yes, and you say, hey, hi, happy to see you. I'm happy to see you. Everybody trace your heart energy going all the way on your pinky side, touching your pinky side on the wrist crease. This calms your mind and continue all the way to the inner pinky and make a pinky promise from your heart that you're gonna always train Kung Fu and raise your spirit. Nice. And touch your other side, raise the roof with your left side, other side, touching under your armpit. Anytime your heart is happy, you raise the roof, you shine from under your armpit and you say, yes, go. You're happy for Kung Fu. You're raising your spirit from your heart. Yes, cheer on. Good, anytime we're gonna fight, we're gonna fight from our heart. So everybody touching under your armpit for your heart energy. Good, give me a high five. Nice, I feel you connecting with my hand. That's my heart energy. Very nice. And gently trace your heart energy past the pinky side of your elbow crease, all the way to the pinky side of your wrist crease. Say goodbye to violence and come all the way to the inner part of your pinky and make a pinky promise from your heart. Hold it close to your heart. Make a promise from your heart that you'll train hard to raise your own spirit. Close your eyes for three deep breaths. Feel the energy from your heart. One more deep breath. And gently open your eyes. Very good. Connecting to your heart. So every movement that you learn in martial arts is to use as a defense, is to use as a sense of love to protect your loved ones. Martial arts is never used to fight, to start a fight. It's to stop a fight. So remembering your heart energy all the way to your pinky, making a pinky promise from your heart, connecting with my hand, my heart, good and all the way to your inner pinky, making a promise from your heart to always fight from your heart, from love. Good, and then see your thumbs are shining up. This is your lung channel. Everybody take a deep breath for inspiration. And when you feel inspired, give me a thumbs up. Yes, and bouncing thumbs up. If you're really inspired and you're happy, Yes, this is our lung channel. This gives us courage and inspiration. Everybody touch the corners of your chest and take a deep breath, exhaling all the way out to your thumb and say, "Who? I like that. Be inspired. Very nice, another side. Touching the corner of your chest, take a deep breath, exhale going on your thumb side, all the way to your thumb and radiate that inspiration out. Take a deep breath and bring in the inspiration. Very good. So today we're going to be working with our heart channel, our heart energy. Every time when we make a white crane palm, 
we'll be learning the palm set for strengthening our body. Everybody feel your pinky side and push out your wrist. Very nice, you're strengthening your heart channel. Other side, like a blade hand. Very good, shine to me, just the edge like a blade. Good, that's your heart energy coming out. Now everybody feel your thumb side. This is your lung energy, the inspiration. Pull the thumb side towards you. Pull the thumb in and push the pinky out. Pull in the thumb, push out the pinky. Good, you're making a white crane palm. Inhale, exhale coming out. In, out. In, out. Very nice, other side together. Pull in the thumb and push out the pinky. Pull in the inspiration, bring out your heart. Gently tense as you exhale and gently exhale longer. <sighs> Inhale deeply. Exhale with the ha sound. This energizes your body. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> In. Out. Very good. So today we're going to strengthen our heart energy and our lung energy with the white crane set. We'll be doing some of the heart qigong that's strengthening your energy on the heart channel with the white crane palm set heart qigong. And then for the main part of the class, we'll be learning a two man set, two person set, where we learn how to punch and block. Punch and block. So still we'll be using the hardness with the punch and hardness with the block. In our last class in January, we learned a few of the basic movements of this set called the bridge hands. Every time when we punch and you block, we make a bridge. When now you throw a punch, your right hand punch, and I block, that makes a bridge. So we're making a bridge hands. Today, we're going to add on to that. There's a total of five exercises, and we'll see how many we get to today. Very nice. Give me a big punch from your right, and a left hand palm block. Punch from your right, from your pinky side. This is your stronger side, your heart energy, and cover. Punch, and cover. Punch, and cover. Good, so we learn how to match each other. And this, when we train very much, we build a good habit, how to react when somebody throws a punch and how to block. So to begin, everybody, let's begin with the Kung Fu martial arts greeting. Right hand is a fist. This makes the sun the brightest thing in the world. With your left hand, make a palm. Show me that heart energy, that palm. Pull in your thumb, push out your pinky. And this is the crescent moon, the second brightest thing in the world. Let's put that together. Right hand fist, left hand palm. And shining out your pinky side, I shine my heart to you. Very nice, let's practice that greeting. And shine. Inhale. Exhale. In, out, in, out. Very 
Very nice. Bring more light into this world with martial arts. Good, let's greet in. And let's begin with a warm up and we'll go into the hard Qigong. So here we go. Let's start by shaking out our wrists. Use your elbows to loosen your wrists. Good, loosen your elbow by shaking your shoulders. Good, we're gonna use our knees to shake out the shoulders. Bounce on the knees. Turn side to side, low and high. Good, let's loosen our whole arms by twisting our waist, rooting ourselves into the ground and swing your arms like a helicopter. Very nice. Let's get ready to swing high and swing low. As high as you can reach for the sky as low as you can without hurting your back, swing low. Five times, one direction, like a big windmill. Change direction, other side. Really feel your heart energy as you raise up and feel your inspiration from your thumb. Very good, let's come up and circle the waist. In White Crane Kung Fu, the power comes from the waist. So when you're fighting on a boat, you cannot move your legs too easily or you'll slip on the boat. So a lot of power has to be generated from the waist. So let's loosen those waist. And change direction. Good, making stronger roots. Let's circle the knees, feet together. Circle 10 times the knees, one direction. Change direction. Very good, slowly come up. With your toe on the ground, circle your ankles. Change direction. Shake out your leg, other side. Change direction. Very good, shake out both legs. And let's bring our feet together, hands together. Inhale, chest in. Open your lower back. Exhale, rise up like you're yawning in the morning. As high as you can. Stretch out your whole spine and torso. Lift up, twist your body and look behind. Let's leave any fears behind us. Inhale back to center, twist other side and leave some fears behind us.
Good, back to middle. Grab your left wrist with your right hand and bend to your right. Squeezing out your liver, you're squeezing out any anger. Good, let's balance that. Use your left hand, grab your right wrist and bend to the left. Gently squeeze out any worries connected to your spleen. Very nice, back up as high as you can and slowly come down, bend forward side to side, open your kidneys and your lower back to release any fears. If you can go lower past your knees, side to side and all the way to your feet, side to side. Good, back to the middle, feet flat on the floor and bend. See if you can stretch out those ankles. This will give you a better rooting. Good, roll onto your toes, open up the bottom of your feet, call it a bubbling well. Very good, plant your feet down. Roll up from your lower back all the way to your shoulder. Open up the legs and circle your shoulders. Taking deep breaths, opening up your lung energy. Every time you open the corners of your chest, bring in and make more space for courage. Very good. Let's open up our chest, open one shoulder at a time, twisting your waist. Every time you squeeze on your right, imagine the liver, your anger squeezing out like a sponge. Every time you squeeze on the left, Imagine your spleen being squeezed. Gently squeeze out any worries. Change direction. Feel that stretch and squeeze. Good, every time you stretch on the right, imagine more patience for your liver. This is one of the martial virtues, the martial morality. Bring more patience. Good, on your left, gently stretch open the spleen and gently bring in more trust for your worries. Another of the martial moralities, trust. Super job. Let's bring both shoulders together, rolling forward. Feel your lower back slowly open up. This is your kidneys connected with the emotion of fear. Gently massage your kidneys, squeeze like a sponge and let any fears dissipate. Very 
Very good. Your kidneys are connected with your willpower. So let's bring in some more perseverance. This is another of the martial morality, perseverance. Very good. And we're gonna slowly bring in white crane, soft cheek on. Let your arms fall down like the wings of a crane. Transform yourself into bird and let your arms be like the wings of the crane. What you're looking for is the twist of the pinky and the thumb. Bring in more joy and love to the pinky, the heart energy. Bring more compassion and inspiration to your lungs the thumb. Slowly turn to your right, massaging that liver and bringing in more patience. Slowly turn to your left and bring in more trust for your spleen, letting go of any worries. Slowly come to the center, putting one hand below your belly button that's your energy center, the dantian, and twist one wing at a time. Slowly bend forward a little bit, open your kidneys in the lower back. Gently bringing in more perseverance and willpower to release any fears. Other side, change hands. Other hand to the Dantian, the energy center. And twist your waist, opening your lower back. Super job. Let's finish with the last alternating left and right. Feel your hips, knees and ankle twist. Gently like water, fall to the lowest place on the earth, bringing in more humility. Very good, that's the kidney. Kidneys are connected to the water element, like rain falling to the lowest place on the earth. We're gonna balance it with the heart, which is the fire, to raise our spirit. Balance the humility, the water, with the fire, the compassion, and passion to raise your spirit. Awesome job. So we're gonna slowly now go into the hard Qigong, strengthening our body 
our muscles, everybody grab your muscles, your arms, your biceps, feel your muscles. This is connected with the spleen energy. Coming down to your crease, feel that ropey bit, the tendon. This connects muscle to bone. Tendons connected with your liver, your emotion of anger. And come down further to your ligaments, to what's holding your hands together. Also connected with your liver, your tendons and ligaments, the anger. So slowly allow a little anger, the right amount of anger gives you a fighting for justice. Say, no, that's not right. Everybody use a little anger to tense your arms, tense the muscles, ligaments, and tendons. Slowly tense the elbow, that little ropey bit. Tense the muscles like you're lifting something heavy. Tensing all the way down to your pinky, your heart energy. Pulling in the thumb side to bring in more inspiration from the lungs. Slowly, we're going to go into what's called white crane blocks. First few moments, see if you can do the palm movement. Inhale, exhale, express. In is in, exhale is express. Good, let it come from your center line. Align it from your heart, the chest. Palm face you like you're looking in a mirror. Exhale, bring the palm, the blade out. Gently tense, fighting for the justice, just the right amount of anger, a righteous anger. Think to your mind, no. Good, slowly let it come from your Dantian. This is your energy center, down low, right where my belt is. The belt is used in Kung Fu. When you tighten the waist, the abdomen, you breathe deeply. From your abdomen, you're pushing out. Everybody take a deep breath from your abdomen. Exhale, push out. In, out. Using the ha sound, this will gen gently, slowly energize your body. Inhale, exhale. In, out, in, out. Continue five times, exhaling longer and using the ha sound. Two more times. Inhale deeply to your abdomen. Exhale longer and using the ha sound. Very good. Slowly change hands. Other side. Strengthen your pinky side, your heart energy. Pulling in the thumb, strengthening your lung energy. A few times, nice and soft. Cover and push out. 
cover like looking in the mirror and palm flat, palm down. From your Dantian, your center. Very nice. Now imagine you have to push enough power to push into me. Let me feel you push me off balance. That's called hard qigong. Good, I see you getting ready. Inhale, exhale. Push me off. Inhale, exhale. Push me off balance. Align it with your bottom of your feet, with your whole body. Very nice, I feel that. Inhale, exhale. Let me feel it harder. I'm a heavy person, push me. Two more times, strengthen your body. Very nice, push me off balance. Two more times, push from the bottom of your feet. Get me off balance. Nice, continue five times at your own pace. Hard qigong, palm side. Super job, one more time, let me watch you. Tense all the way, feel the tendons and ligaments tense. Very nice, that's the beginning of hard qigong, palm set. Relax your hands. In between, we'll do a little recovery. This is called the octopus. Pulling from your elbow and your wrists, relaxing the fingers. Good, hard qigong can strengthen your body. It can boost your immune system. It can boost your energy up, but we have to be careful because if somebody has high blood pressure, it can also raise your blood pressure. So we have to relax in between and calm our breathing, calm our energy. Good, do a little of the crazy octopus, twisting the wrists. Reverse it. Good, and the white crane wings. Let your fingers be soft like the feathers of the wings from your pinky all the way to your thumb. This can also help you prevent arthritis. Arthritis is a blockage of the joints. So keep moving your joints and reverse it like you're playing piano. Good, and last, interlock your fingers and loosen your wrists. We're gonna get ready to do three movements from the hard qigong set. Starting with, relax, starting with something called cover. Think of cover like you're putting a lid covering a pot. Palm up from your pinky side. Everybody touch your pinky side, your heart energy protected by the small intestine energy. This is a very strong side. Everybody tap it a few times. This is a very strong side full of muscles. You can make contact very hard and not get hurt if you slowly train it. 
if you get hit on the long side, the thumb side, there's a lot of nerves here. This can hurt. This can numb your arms. So we always want to make contact with the pinky side first and then flip over. Can everybody interlock, hitting your pinky side and then cover. Like looking in a mirror and flip the wrists. Good, continue with the hard Qigong, tensing, make contact and tense and flip over. See if you can do one side and then we'll train the other side. Try the other side, pinky first, muscle, full of muscle. Try tapping on the thumb side with a fist. This hurts. Hit on the pinky side. This is muscle, you can tense it and it doesn't hurt. Good, so gently smooth that out. We're going to cover on both sides, like putting a lid, covering a pot. Let's go together first, hand by the elbow. This is called mother son. Mother protects the son and son protects the mother. Other side. Good. Inhale, exhale, in, out, in, out. Good, have your thumb tucked in. Anytime the thumb comes out, somebody can grab it and twist it into a joint lock. And again, that hurts. So tucking in the thumb. Good, make the last three fingers a little softer and your thumb and index a little harder like the bones of the wings. Good, let's try together a few times, cover. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Slowly bring in the ha sound, in, out. In, out. Good, keep your elbow in front of you. And something we do called triangle body. Triangle body is turning your shoulders and your hips making a triangle with your shoulder and your two feet. Everybody twist your waist, triangle body, and keep your elbow in front, protecting your body. Let's go 10 times together. Inhale, exhale, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Check yourself, head upright. Your hand and elbow is between you and me, like you're holding up a shield. Check your triangle body, hip and shoulder, pull back and one shoulder and hip move forward. Other side, turn, head upright, elbow and hands in front of you, like you're holding a shield between you and me. Very good, elbow down. And take a deep breath, triangle body. Turn your shoulder and hip forward. Good, and change. Cover, good, cover comes from out to in, from the outer shoulder to your center, outer shoulder to center. We're going to cover again. This time we're going to use mother son further apart. When you further apart, see how much further you can reach. 
One inch further, one inch stronger. So here, everybody try, open the chest, feel how your arms grow out. You're keeping a bigger distance between you and your opponent. If this is an illness that you're keeping away, you're keeping it far. Fighting illness, keeping it far. Cover and the back hand pull back. Inhale, exhale, in, up. So same movement, covering a lid, only now the hand, the mother son is pulling back. Let's try 10 together, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So you have one minute to practice on your own. I'm going to pause the video and watch you and correct you. Everybody's super job practicing. Few things to watch out for. Watch this. Triangle body means, look, squared shoulders and triangle body. Squared, triangle. Squared, triangle. When you're in a battle, when you're squared, you're, all your organs, your vital organs are exposed, like your stomach. Everybody feel your stomach? Getting punched in the stomach hurts. So we limit the exposure by making a triangle body. Super job, that's it. Good, now you limit the places where I can get you. Next, have your elbow in front. So what I see is some people are crossing to the sides. This leaves you exposed. Always think of your opponent who's in front of you. Keep your hand between you and your opponent, like you're holding a shield. Let me see you hold a shield in front of you. Elbow in front, elbow down. Yeah, super everybody, you're getting this really well. So we've been doing cover, which comes from outside to inside. Now we're gonna try repel. Repel goes from inside to outside. From your center line, palm face you, to your shoulder. Very good, palm face you, to your shoulder. In to out. This is called repel, like you're repelling a fly. Good, elbow drop. Super job, everyone. Good, this is a repel. To tell you a story, when my brother was just a little kid, he did this against a bully, and the bully said, what's that, a chicken? He's like, no, this is white crane. <laughs> so everybody, let me see a white crane, elbow down. Once you lift the elbow, this becomes more like a chicken. So let's keep elbows down keep protecting you. Very nice. Good, from in to out. This is repel and cover. Repel and cover. Good, let's go 10 times together. Repel, in to out. In to out. Keep it in your center line and out. and tense. Very nice. Let's go 10 times together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, few times by yourself. Keep your hands in front between you and me. Keep your elbows in front of your body, protecting your organs. Head upright. Super. So let's see if you can do 
now in combination. Good, everyone. We're going to slowly now move in to the two-person set called bridge hands. Let's see if you can throw a punch. This is called a full punch. So chamber here by the chest level, palm up, and go straight line forward to my solar plexus. Everybody tap down your chest. Feel how this is bone, this protects you. The first soft point you feel, that's called your solar plexus, where a lot of nerves gather. If you get struck here, this can upset your stomach. If somebody punches up, this can upset your heart. So everybody feel solar plexus, this vulnerable place. And then have an awareness always to protect it, mother, son. So when you punch, hold the other hand there by the armpit, mother, son. If the mother leaves home, the son protects the house and vice versa. Punch, 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 punch. Very good, we're gonna slowly combine it. Let's first go 10 punches. One, two, three, go to my solar plexus, four, five, six, hard qigong, seven, eight, Make it count. Nine, <sighs> ten. <sighs> hey, super job. Few times by yourself. <sighs> Let me see a little hardness. Watch yourself. Palm up. At the last second, palm down. This is called a full punch. Good. Let me see triangle body. Shoulder forward. Very good. So first punch, you're going to go right hand punch to solar plexus. Good, I'm opposite view of you. Good, aim for here, my solar plexus in the center. And when you punch, I'm going to block with my left hand, cover. So a few times, just punch and cover. Right hand punch, left hand cover. Right hand punch, left hand cover. Right hand punch, left hand cover. Repeat a few times, just solo by yourself, 10 times. Watch my body, triangle body. Elbow in front, like a shield. Good, super job. So right hand punch, left hand cover. We went over this last month too. Let's see if we can put it together with each other. So give me your first punch, right hand punch to my solar plexus. Good, right hand punch. Good, I'm gonna block that with my left. I'm gonna throw a punch at your solar plexus. Good, block with your left and throw a punch with your right. And block this with your left. Punch with your right, block, punch, block, punch, block, punch, block, punch, block, punch, block, punch, block, punch. Hey, you're doing super job, everyone. Let's see if we could go medium speed. So punch. Block, good, and you punch. Block, punch, 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 block, punch. Good. And without cue, see if you can respond. Block, punch. Block, punch. 
Go ahead, react to my punch. And let me react to yours. Hey, super job, everyone. That's the first bridge hand. Super job. Let's see if we could go fast speed, super speed. Ready, shake it out, getting ready. Go. So simple as block and punch. You first, you punch, right hand punch, and block, punch, 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 yes, there you go, and super speed, yes, good, punch, block, punch, yes, and relax, good, when you go fast, Power has to come from your waist. So we're not punching from our arms, not the chicken, but the white crane. Good, let's take a pause. Let me see if you have any questions. Take a minute to review by yourself. Okay, everyone, welcome back. We had a good question during the break. So when we punch, is it like a hard qigong, hard all the way? So this becomes where you have different styles. There's two types of styles that I train. One is called white crane, and this is a soft, hard style. The power is like a whip where it's soft until the last second it tenses. Soft and tense at the end. Whereas long fist, long fist is from the northern part of China. This is more of a hard style where you're tense from beginning, tense all the way. So this power is more like a truck hitting you. It covers an area hard all the way. Whereas a whip, the soft hard style like white crane, this is hits a small point, but it goes so deep. So here, soft hard, you soft until the chi, the energy reaches the fist. And then when you turn over, that's when you tense. So that has more of a bouncing power. Whereas hard, boom all the way through. Everybody try hard. Hard is more intuitive, where you just tense. Remember, turn your fist, last second. Good, tense all the way. And then try a soft heart where it's soft until you reach your target, tense. Soft, tense, soft, tense. Good, remember, take the straightest path forward. Good, super job. Let me see if you have a question. Okay, everyone. So we had some good questions. So in general, we're going to train it as like a Qigong, where you're practicing leading the energy, soft heart, soft, and then tense at the end. Soft, tense at the end. And then later, if you're training it more as a long fist style, which is more intuitive actually, you train it just hard all the way, like a hard Qigong. So hard Qigong becomes more apparent when you're doing it at the fast speed. Good, so we're going to go forward. Let's try number two of the bridge hands. So now we have two punches and two blocks. So you're going to go right punch left punch, right block, left block, cover, cover, right solar plexus, face, right cover, left cover, solar plexus, face, cover, right, cover, left, solar plexus, face, cover, cover.
So in general, you can train this as a hard qigong, tensing all the way, or as a soft heart, wait till the qi reaches there, and then tense. Another question we had during the break, we have something called martial grand circulation, which is the internal part of Kung Fu, which is learning how to lead your qi. Your qi is your vital energy. Everybody holding here, two fingers below your belly button. This here is your battery. You store a lot of energy here and you can lead out energy. So once you lead out energy, you open the lower back, something called the life gate, Ming Men. You open this gate by arcing your chest and tucking in your tailbone. This means the energy comes out and then you inhale it up the spine, inhale up to a point behind your neck called the Da Zui, the big vertebrae. This point is the exit point where the energy can come out to your hands. So in the beginning, when you feel like you don't have enough energy to do the martial arts, slowly train this grand circulation, which will begin training in April. The grand circulation leads more energy to your hands and more energy to your feet. For now, we're just gonna focus on the technique. So going back to number two, let's see if you can right punch, left punch, and pull back when you punch. Cover right, cover left. Punch, punch, cover, cover, right, left, le right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Let's repeat this just solo 10 times. Solar plexus, face, cover, cover. Solar plexus, face, cover, cover. Solar plexus, face, cover, cover. Continue, three, Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Block, block, punch, punch, block, block, punch, punch, block, block. Continue. Two more. Good, and relax. To improve your form when you're training solo, look in the mirror and keep always in your center line. So some habit that we start in the beginning is punching from the side and it doesn't protect the center and it doesn't reach your opponent's center, the most vulnerable place. See if you can try five more times, coming from your center line and reaching from my center line. Punch, punch, block, block. Much better, keep going. One more time. Hey, super job. I give you two thumbs up for my lung energy. I'm inspired by you. So now let's try to match with each other. To match, my side will actually go left punch first. So you don't worry about that. You just keep right, right right, right. So start first your right punch to my solar plexus. Good, down low. Yes, good. I'm going to block. Now punch to my face. Left, block. And I'm going to go punch. You block that and block that. Now you punch, right, right, and face. Good. And block, block. Punch, punch. Block, block, punch, punch, block, block, punch, punch, block, block, right, left, right, left, punch, punch, block, block, punch, punch, block, block, punch, punch, block, 
block. Let's slow it down. Let's have everybody on the same page. You go first, punch, right punch, left punch, right block, left block, right punch, left punch, right block, left block, punch, punch, block, block, punch, punch, block, block, punch, punch, block, block, punch, punch, block, block block, punch, punch, block, block, punch, punch, block, block, punch, punch, block, block, medium speed, punch, punch, block, block, 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 yes, and keep going, and relax, oh, super job, everyone, you're keeping up really well, and just relax in between, with your octopus, taking in deep breath. We're gonna try one more. Just take deep breaths and relax. And your wrists. Reverse. Good, and relax your arms, the fingers. Reverse. And relax, swing the arms. Good. So feel free to always sit down during this training if you feel it's too much. We have something called toilet training. So this is something you can always do while you're on the toilet. You're just training your upper body. Let's go now to number three. We went over this last time where you have a cover, right hand cover, right hand repel. And repeat, cover from out to in, repel from in to out. Cover, repel, cover, repel. Good, check yourself. Are you protecting your center line? Are you using triangle body? Turning the waist. Good. Try to use your waist rather than your arm. This is arm. This is waist. Super job. Good. So this one, number three, you have only a cover, right? And cover a repel, right? Cover, right? Repel, right? And then you're going to have what's called a sneak punch. So after you repel, right hand will punch to, your, to my solar plexus. And then you'll have another punch. So we have cover, repel, punch, punch. Cover, repel, punch, punch. Cover, repel, punch, punch. Cover, repel. Right punch, left punch. Right hand cover. Right hand repel, right hand sneak punch, left hand punch, cover, repel, sneak punch, upper punch, cover, repel, punch, 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 punch, continue. Oh, let's go slow. Cover, repel, punch, punch. Cover, repel, punch, punch. Stay in your center line. Cover, repel, punch, 
bunch. I'm gonna show you side view, continue, cover, cover, hope, <laughs> punch, punch, cover, repel, punch, punch, cover, repel, right punch, punch, cover, repel, right punch, left punch, cover, repel, right punch, left punch, cover, repel, continue, right punch, left punch, cover, repel, continue five more times at your own pace. Hey everyone, you're doing super job. Let's see if now we can match each other. Stick with the same pattern, cover, repel, right punch, left punch, and we're gonna match each other. Give me your first punch, right punch to my solar plexus. Good, I'm gonna cover, now punch to my eye, repel, and I'm gonna punch you to solar plexus, give me a right cover, nice, and left cover, left repel. Good, give me a right sneak punch to my solar plexus. I'm gonna cover, punch to my head, face, and block this, cover, repel, punch, punch, cover, repel, punch, punch, cover, repel. Good, C punch, punch, cover, repel, punch, Punch, the tricky part here is after the repel, show me that sneak punch, you slide right in. Cover, repel, slide right in. Nice, cover, repel, with your right hand, slide right in. Only right hand, cover, repel, slide right in. Cover, repel, slide, in, out, in. Two punches, good, relax a little minute. This is getting tougher. It takes more coordination and more practice. Let's take it just slow. And you'll get an idea of number four and number five. Ready, give me a right punch, left punch. Block this, cover right, cover, repel left. Good, cover right, Oop. right punch, left punch, right block, right block. Good, cover, punch, punch, and cover, repel, same hand, punch, punch, cover right, cover, repel right, punch, punch, cover, repel, punch, punch, cover, repel, right punch, left punch, right cover, left repel, or when I say left repel, I mean right repel. All right, I'm the one messing you up. Let's try again. Ready, ready, and let's go. You go punch, right punch, left punch, right cover, right repel. Now we got it, right punch, Left punch, right cover, right repel. Right punch, left punch, right cover, right repel. Right punch, left punch, right cover, right repel. Right punch, re left punch, cover, right cover, right repel. Right punch, left punch, right cover, right repel, right punch, left punch, right cover, right repel, last time, right punch, left punch, right cover, right repel, super job, super job, shake that up, um, just for the last one, we're just going to get an idea, number four and number five, this is what we'll be training from April in seven weeks. So 
Number four actually just goes off of number three, where you would go right punch, left punch, and then right low punch. Nice, when you hit low, you're aiming for below my ribs. On my right is my liver, that makes me angry. When you strike the left, that's my spleen, this makes me worry. So low punch, right solar plexus, left face, right low, good, to my spleen. And again, repeat, right, left, right, center, face, down, center, face, down, again, center, face, down, center, face, down. Last time, center, face, down. What we do on the defense side, you have cover, right, repel right, and the mother son left hand will drop down. This is called a left repel. Good, so just keep your elbow in and slide out, turning your waist. Good, and repeat the blocks. Cover, right, repel, right. Left hand drops, left repel. Good, and cover, right, repel, right. Left, repel. Cover, right, repel, right. Left, repel. Cover, right, repel, right. Left, repel. Last time, cover, right, repel, right low repel. Hey, super job. Just for a little fun, see if you can match it. See if you can just block, cover, repel, and down low. So give me a right cover, left cover, uh, left re uh, right repel. <laughs> Are you mixed up with all this virtual? And down low repel. Good. And just repeat this. Cover right, repel right, down, repel, nice, and repeat, cover right, repel right, down, low, repel, nice, and two more times, cover right, repel right, down, low, repel, cover right, repel right, down, low, right, repel, super, and reverse it, now you punch, punch to my solar plexus right, punch to my face left, Punch to my lower with your right. Good, and repeat. Right punch, left punch. Left, right, low. Try again. Right center, left face. Right, low. And again, right center, left high. Right, low. And two more times. Right center, left high, and right low. Super. See if you can match just a little bit. Let's go, you go cover, right, repel right, repel down low. Now you punch, right punch, left punch, left low, or right low, good. And right cover. Left cover, oh, right repel, right low. Let's try again. Now you punch, right punch, left punch, right low. Good, right cover, right repel, right down low, left down low. Good, cover, repel, punch and punch low. Try again, right cover, Right, repel, left, down, low, good. Now you right punch, left punch, right, down, low, and I block left. Last time, cover right, repel right, left, down, low. Now you right punch, left punch, right, down, low. Hey, super job. I feel you. Awesome. Super matching. This is a challenge virtually, but you're doing super job. 
just to give you an idea of the last one and then we'll finish up. The last one has two sides, but only two movements. One of the sides is a high strike. This strikes to the temple. So it has a slight from the side strike. So imagine if you get hit by the temple, right side by the eyebrows, this can hurt. Good, so with your right hand, go to my left temple. Go to my right temple. Good, so high. And then you're just going to right hand repel, left hand down low. So left hand catches, right hand repel. Right high, right low. Right high, right low. Right high, right low. Right high, right low. Good, watch your left hand right underneath the right elbow. Right high, right low. Right high, right low. High, low. High, low. Continue five times, high, low. High, low. High, low. low. High, low. Last one, high, low. Now remember your body movement. You're just gonna go high and low and I'm gonna match you. So when you go high, I'm gonna do a block. I'm gonna block. So you're aiming for my right temple. Good, I'm gonna block that. Now I'm gonna strike you low and you're gonna right repel low. Good, and repeat. Strike my right temple and block low. Good, strike my right temple and block low. Right temple, right low. Right temple, right low. Right temple, right low. Right temple, right low. Two more, awesome job. Right temple, right low. Right temple, and right low. Super, you are amazing. I'm gonna teach you the other side, what I'm doing. So you're gonna block high when somebody strikes you to the temple. Right hand, palm face you. Left hand, palm face out. Tuck in the thumbs. Right hand will strike down low. Block high, right palm face you, left palm out, strike low. High, low, high, low, high. Left hand can slide. This will protect when somebody strikes you, they're trying to block the elbow because somebody can elbow you. So your hand, left hand will go near my elbow. Good, high, low. High, low, high, low, high, low, high, low. Two more, high, low, high, low. Okay, good job. Let's match that. So I'm gonna strike you to the temple. Give me a high block, good. And then you see this is open. So you're gonna strike me low, right low. I'm gonna block that, I'm gonna get you high, and you're gonna get me low. I'm gonna get you high, I'm gonna, you're gonna get me low. High, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low. High, low. High, low, two more. High, low, high, low, high, low. Oh, I'm so proud of you, everybody. You have a lot of hope for Kung Fu. I'm gonna give you a greeting. I'm gonna shine to you with my right, my sun. This is the sun, not the sun. Left hand, the moon, sun and moon, shine to you. Super job. So if you want to keep training this, I'll be starting in April classes, seven weeks, just the bridge hands. And you'll learn also the white crane hard qigong, how to strengthen your body. So this will continue to get better. The way Kung Fu works is you want to build reflexes. 
when you keep repeating the same movement, one day somebody just throws or something comes to your face, you have that instinct how to reflect. So somebody throws a Frisbee to your face, oop, you got it. Somebody throws a pen to your face, oop, you got it. Somebody throws an apple to your face, oop, you got it. So until you build that habit, you just keep repeating. Repetition is the key to reflexive. So I wanna thank all of you for joining me. I want to show you a little bit of something called white crane double rods. This here, two rods. This is a double weapon training. Some people call it the table legs. This training, white crane, is all about whipping. So you can see the power. It doesn't go the whole stick. This is more like a hard qigong. It goes like a whip. Whip, only the last second, you tense. So this training, this is a white crane, short rods training. So you go right and left, right and left until you can get out the power. So you'll see I use my chest and my waist. Good. And then we have blocks. So usually against the staff, you block and then you strike. Block and strike and you're aiming for the hands. Block and strike. So just to show you a little bit from the beginning of the short rods, this is my greeting. to there because there's space is short thank you so much for joining me and i hope you'll keep the scrims with the sticks <laughs> thanks everyone so thank you for joining me till next time it's tcm time keep Bravo. letting your house shine thanks everybody. <laughs> thanks everybody <laughs>